Oh, two o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> ah, boy. Hmm. This is my life, which I kind of like. <laughs> ah, sleep late. Get up uh, when the body wakes up, and start work. Uh, anyway, um, I thought uh, today's video I would share with you. Once again, the top five, uh, <laughs> top five crazy stuff that happens. This one is uh, the top five. Uh, you remember the uh, New Year offer that I gave? Okay, so I had a massive number of inquiries, quite a huge number. <sighs> Not everyone became a client. Some became. Some just wanted to know the pricing. Some were just window shopping, whatever. Uh, and some, yeah, there are some trolls also who just want to waste time. Uh, but these five that I'm going to give you are genuine, real, okay? They're not fake because uh, I had a video conversation with them and I pre qualify my clients so I know if they're genuine or fake. Okay, and mind you, these are people who are willing to pay money immediately if I had said yes. So I'll give you the top five in no particular order. You tell me which one is the most shocking among all of them. Okay, I'll just go randomly as they come up my head. The first, <laughs> the first one is uh, uh, this uh, Indian guy from India. You know they. They generally they they admire people who are who they feel is larger than life or like actors and celebrities. So this guy he calls himself my fan. Okay, he said, "Sir, I'm a big fan of yours." You know the. I said, "What's your name, sir? You can just call me your biggest fan." I said, "No, tell me your name." Okay, I. So he told me his name. Uh, fine. So what do you want? You know, what do you want my service for? What do you want my service booking for? His answer was, and uh, remember this, he is being as genuine as possible. This is, I guess, his upbringing. So, um, but he's not the smartest cookie. So he's telling me, sir, I want, his exact words were, so I want one good quality girl. So I asked him, what do you mean by good quality? So, and uh, I guess because English was not his first language, this is how he would say, Sir, achi quality honi jai, sir. Sahi quality. <laughs> sir, wo... He... I can't get all his Hindi words, but he is saying he doesn't want a, like a used furniture. You know? I can't get the exact word, what he is saying. He wants a fresh, means he wants a virgin. And he wants a good quality girl. So I asked him to define what is good quality. He told me, first is virginity. He described, sir, koi bhi haat nahi. Means nobody should have touched her. Then, sir, she should cook amazing. Okay. So do all the housework. Okay. Listen to the mother, father. Okay. So she should look beautiful, sir. Okay. So she should be slim. Okay. So, and even he had requirements. Her hair should be long. Okay. Sir, no boyfriends, okay? <laughs> oh, goodness. His list was so lengthy. You know, I, uh, sometimes I laugh and make fun of people and I say, you want uh, girls, the perfect ideal man for them is character of Christ, wallet of Bill Gates and looks of Chris Hemsworth. They want a perfect human being, okay? So in the same way, this guy wanted the perfect female. Okay. And on top of that, <laughs> when I asked him, so how much do you earn and you know, sir, whoa. What he's telling me is that she should not be bothered how much he, he earns. She should love him whether he is poor or rich, fat or ugly. Okay. So I, I told him, point blank, I told him point blank. I don't think uh, you can find such a girl 
and second one is neither do I offer a service. So then he told, sir, what about your wife? You got a good wife. So I told, uh, I had to tell him, my wife would not qualify for your quality standards. They're cutting down the weed and all that. Have a look. And uh, the dangerous part is there are snakes sometimes, you know. Anyway, see, this is how deep it is. You can see this. Anyone can just fall down, you know. And during the rain, this whole thing is like, you know, water is like flooded. It's, I don't know, the water goes in the river or something. Okay. So, at number five, you could say, this guy wanted a good quality female. At number four, we have another guy. And this guy uh, from Pakistan, uh, first uh, Sarji, this, that, you know. And uh, he told me he wants to be a WWE wrestler. So I told him, uh, okay, why do you want to be a wrestler? Yeah, you know, the usual stuff. It was always my dream. I see wrestling. Uh, and, uh, you know, he gave me the typical story which mostly you hear from young so, sir i practice wrestling at home i practice wrestling with my friends we take the mattress outside and we do wrestling and we go in the garden people make fun of us but we are still practicing the hits and you know with the elbow i know how to do the jump from up and uh, i'm training very hard i do push-ups he told me how many sir kusti karta how many push-ups how many squats how many this how many that tall guy he was uh, I think six foot uh, four or something, young chap. But uh, I, I told him, uh, see, I don't offer any, uh, you know, wrestling placement as such. And he did tell me that he was going to a wrestling school or something in Pakistan. But I told him that if he wants to get into wrestling, he can't do it from Pakistan. He needs to uh, either go to a place where they have a center, you know, like in Saudi Arabia, they have a, you know, they have a tie up with WWE and they might train homegrown talents, you know, so you need to figure out how to get in touch and it's, see in the United States, there are plenty of wrestling, indie shows and local shows and all that. So that is how people climb up the ranks. But from Pakistan, I told them it's not possible. You'll have to go all the way there or it's not going to happen. I, I really uh, felt sorry for him because he was a very genuine guy. Uh, he was like, sir, I'm ready to do anything. I'm ready to scrub, uh, scrub the floor, sleep on the, the sink and ground. And you just have to give me food. Uh, I don't want any salary. I will prove myself. But I let him know that there's nothing I can do. I, the best thing I told him, make videos of you, put it on YouTube, uh, tag WWE and hope someone notices if you're good. I told him to take the social media route. What else can he do? Anyway. And mind you, by the way, none of these guys uh, are my clients. Huh? I'm telling you the ones who I spoke to and who wanted my service. Okay. And number three. <laughs> Once again, young man. I guess he watches too many YouTube videos and too many podcasts. So he asked me about... Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, he wants to be a billionaire, entrepreneur, billionaire and all that. And uh, see, now, when someone asks me about wanting to be a billionaire and entrepreneur, it's not a big deal. It's very common. But I'll tell you what was the problem with this guy. This guy's father is no more. Mother is taking care of him. And... Uh, I don't know how the hell did he manage to pull this off. But the mother gives him his school fees, college fees, sorry, college, to pay to the college. But instead of paying the college, the guy takes the money and he's paying these online coaches to train him to be an entrepreneur, train him to be a social media ma maven and all that. And what he told me was, you know, I'm getting every month from my mother 
I'll pay you from there. So I clarified again. I said, your mother is paying you to do your college degree. And uh, you're taking this money and you're not spending on college. In other words, you're cheating your mom. He said, no, my mother wanted me to have a career. See how he's playing around with her. My mother wanted me to have a career. So whether I do degree or this, I'm still doing my career. In other words, he's giving himself a false justification, but his mother paid him, gives him money every month to go to college. The guy, instead of going to college, he uses this money to pay these coaches and all that. And I asked him, how do you stay away from college? He's saying right now it's through online learning. We can't go physically because of COVID and all that. I told him, I can't accept your money, nor can I accept you as a client because you're, you're, you're cheating your mother. And I don't want that kind of money. So I refused. Yeah. He kept asking this. I said, you'll get many other coaches. You don't have to come to me only. Uh, I guess maybe because I said no, he kept insisting. Then I told him, you have to tell your mother that you're paying me. Only then. And I need to speak to your mother before I even take you as a client. He said, okay, I will do it. Fine, I never heard of him ever since. It's not right. Anyway, now we're coming to the top, the last two. Okay. <laughs> I know you must be like, oh, it'll be a big one. I don't know, but I'll tell you anyway. The next one is uh, uh, this guy. Uh, he wants to go to Dubai. I said, okay. So, and this guy is not from India, by the way. He's from uh, the West. So I said, okay, what do you want to do in Dubai? I'll do anything. I said, what? I'll do anything, okay. Uh, what's your qualification? No, school dropout, okay. What have you done in the West? Done odd jobs, security, cleaning, this, that, you know, odd jobs here and there. So I want to do the same in Dubai. So I told him, nobody's going to entertain you, boss. No, no, I heard in Dubai they pay very big salaries to why, you know, uh, foreign passport holders, Westerners. I said, yeah, but you need some level of skill, education, experience. They're not dumb enough that every maybe coolie, cleaner or, uh, you know, McDonald's flipping burger guy, they're going to give them a very big salary. Uh, anyway, he, uh, long story short, he kept telling me that he would pay me a decent amount, but I had to fabricate a CV. Everything fake. I said, no, I can't do that. Not do that. And last but not the least. Now this one uh, is not actually funny. Is not actually, uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, say this as a matter of entertainment, rather as a sense of caution. Uh, sometimes what people hear and see online actually gives you the wrong idea. This is a girl based in Dubai, Indian girl, okay? And I'll tell you, she's not very old, huh? she's young. Uh, I can't give the exact age for obvious reasons, but uh, let's say you are uh, just entering college. What would be your age, first year or second year, okay? That is her age. So this girl, I verified because I want to know it was not a troll. After I saw her in video, I asked, yeah, what do you want? And her answer was, I, her actual answer, this is not a, uh, she, she was like, uh, I want you to teach me how to use my body and mind to manipulate men. I said, uh, you need to be specific. What do you mean body and mind? In other words, she wanted to use sex to get what she you know, wanted from men. She didn't want to work hard. And she was actually looking at, not, I asked her, what, so you want to be a prostitute? prostitute? She said, no, 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 I don't want to be a prostitute, but I want to use sex, mind manipulation and all that to get what I want. I don't want to 
work for a job as as to why what uh, what gives you this fascination and then she started sharing with me links of girls who are in their 20s in uh, united states miami even in uh, through vpn she went to these uh, uh, you know uh, uh, call girl and escorts and prostitution sites and she saw girls who are in their 20s who are offering sex and all that and mind you this girl is from a proper family she has a proper family so i said why would you want to go get into this she said no i enjoy sex i i like sex so when i probed further i found out that when she was young as a small girl her uncle uh, molested her and that is how she ended up experiencing sex and since then she has always had some kind of sexual uh, this thing with cousins or something so because she was exploited from a very young age now she is comfortable with sex in fact i did ask her are you still having sex with the your relatives some of them she, she said yeah and they give me good money to keep me to make sure i keep quiet she said i don't mind it so i was i told her i'm sorry but you know this is not a service i can offer she said see listen you don't have to get emo- imagine she's telling me you don't have to get emotionally involved you think of me as a client i said uh, i understand maybe if i was younger in my 20s and you being in 20s maybe i would have agreed and maybe maybe i would have said let's have sex and i'll teach you for free also you know but uh, at this stage of my life at this age uh knowing what i know now given the fact that i have a family a daughter i don't think it would appeal to me i don't think i can it doesn't sit well with me so uh, she was okay fine gracious enough and she said bye but it's man the stories that she was telling me the how much money she was making and all that fuck it's it's um, it's sad actually it's sad that now she, that she has got a taste of easy money she doesn't want to work at all she wants to go down this path see like i always tell people no everything looks hunky dory and nice when the going is good but when the going gets bad then everything will get bad anyway i don't think she was in a frame of mind to listen to any fatherly advice from my side so i was not too bothered anyway this is what i wanted to share with you guys you let me know what do you think which story among all this really like is oh shit all right or which one is the odd one out or which one stood out in your head like to hear your thoughts okay you guys take care this is me signing off ciao